Check that out. Look at that big beauty glowing in the sunshine. Woo! Morning guys, coming to you from Mount Rainier National Park. We are in the sunrise vicinity here in the park and uh, heading out on a roughly 10 mile day hike. Should be pretty fun. So we are camped down here at the White River Campgrounds. Uh, we are working our way up this incredibly steep uh, grind here. It's only a couple of miles as you can see, but it's been pretty much straight up. I think you gain something like 12 to 1400 feet of elevation between here and here. So we are uh, somewhere in here and not recording a whole lot of this. It's just a, a slow grind, but uh, we're going to go up this way. We're walking on the Wonderland Trail this morning and we will follow the Wonderland Trail on around Shadow Lake out here past to uh, Glacier Overlook. Then. I'm undecided. We might go this way or we might go this way. I'm thinking maybe this way so we can check out Frozen Lake. And then from there, we're going to drop on down, go over the Burroughs Mountains, work our way down the switchbacks back here to uh, the Glacier Basin Trail. And again, undecided if I'm going to go out this way and try to see the glacier or not, but uh, and eventually we'll work our way back this way where I'm going to drop down and do this little out and back. Uh, there's a social trail that goes down to a um, new glacial lake that has recently formed down in this area. It's supposed to be beautiful turquoise. And then eventually we're going to wind our way back right up to camp where we're camped at. So that's kind of the plan for the day. I'll record as we go along and uh, show you kind of what it looks One like. One thing I will mention and I don't know, it may or may not come through right now. Uh, we've got the big fires uh, in BC to the north. And we also have the big fires at around Spokane to the east. And so the last couple of days here in the park, it has been just incredibly, incredibly, incredibly smoky. Um, a lot of times you can't even see Mount Rainier. And what you can see, if you see it at all, it's it's like an outline. So, uh, hoping, I mean, there's somewhat bluish skies up there. Hoping the wind uh, that was kicking up over the evening blew a lot of that out of here. And we'll get some really nice views on this hike. If not, we'll at least get some good exercise. So, glad you guys are coming along. Let's get it rolling.
I just wanted to give you a quick look at kind of what the trail looks like here on this early section. Uh, it's pretty much climbing a mountain. So we're working our way up this hill. We've come from way down there. Uh, trail behind us. Mountain we're working our way up. And our trail. It's pretty hiking. It's really actually some of my favorite hiking, I think, because you're you're always underneath just tons and tons of gigantic trees, big old cedars, and the firs, and the hemlock. There's just so many big trees that even on a real sunny day, it's pretty shady in here. You just get these little sunspots that are kind of pretty to look at. So that's kind of what it looks like. Pretty, pretty. So as I'm cruising along the trail here, I came upon a discovery. It's a pine cone, right? We look closer. Can you see how it's sealed with resin? All the way around. There are seeds in there. It's a very specific kind of pine cone. Belongs to the ponderosa pine, I believe. <clears throat> Thing was heavy, like a rock. <laughs> and uh, I think it's the ponderosa pine. And that particular tree requires temperatures of over, I think it's 120 degrees to reproduce because the seeds it drops are sealed like that and the resin you got to heat them up to about 150 degrees to get the resin to break loose and for the seeds to come out so when you find those trees you know that you're in an area that's had a forest fire Starting to get into some of the really pretty stuff now. All these wildflowers everywhere. Love these subalpine meadows. I'm just walking in the basically the shadow of this big guy. Now that ridge out there, that big gray one, uh, right along there. I think that's where we're headed today. Rain has changed a good little bit, hasn't it? We are no longer in those uh, tall, tall trees walking in the shade. We are getting out here into these open meadows. Getting up high. You can just see Rainier kind of peeking through the trees back there at you. And uh, you can really see the smoke over that way. But, Still a beautiful, beautiful hike. Oh yeah, really starting to open up now. You can really see the smoke. I think on a clear day, there's like peaks upon peaks out there. You can just barely see them kind of peeking through the smoke at us, but uh, hey, you know, you take what you get, we still got oodles of these beautiful wildflowers. <laughs> Everywhere to look at, 
my favorite, the Lorax flowers, which have a name, which eludes me. It's something weird. <laughs> something not nearly as easy to remember as the Lorax flowers. <laughs> Beautiful hiking here on the Wonderland Trail this morning. And looks like, so we've already hit that first little lake uh, at the top. And we moved on around it. And we are about to connect up here with the Burroughs Mountain Trail. And work our way out that way. Once we get up on that, that's from my understanding what I've read of it. That'll take us high up on a ridge. And we'll be ridge walking most of the way. Looking at Rainier like the whole time. So should be some amazing, amazing views. Here's the view out behind us. You can see the trail we've been working up. And way back over there is the trail that we came in on. Lots of smoke. to the top of this pass. I think we're gonna have some pretty good views. You can already see Rainier peeking out at us over there. Man, sign central. Changing plans. It is not even 10 o'clock yet, and I am probably halfway through my hike. So, I'm just looking for things to add miles. Uh, there's an out and back trail right here from this, this big vista area that I've been hanging out in. I started up the trail there, and then I met another hiker that was telling me that there's an old fire lookout up this trail. And it's only 1.3 miles, so it's only going to add uh, about two and a half miles to my trek this morning. And uh, we'll end up up there, up there. I'm not sure which. But, uh, let's go, go check out the old fire tower. It's a big mountain back here. <laughs> I think I want to climb it. Not this year, anyway. This view back behind me here my left as I'm hiking. Holy cow! It's amazing. I know you guys probably can't see them in the picture there, but that huge herd of mountain goats is still down there in the valley. Right here, in splendor rising up here beside me. So 
beautiful. Can't wait to see what the view looks like from the top of this thing. And then when we're done, you can really see the trail we're growing up. It cuts up the side of that mountain. tower way out here so kind of looking at the back side of that basin now Northwest. It's super windy, so here in a minute, once I pop around this other corner, you're not really going to be able to hear me at all. Um, big, beautiful alpine meadow out there. That is awesome. And the smoke's clearing up a little bit. You can see see some peaks heading out that way. Well, what we're going to see. you what it looks like inside they have a uh, nice cot some rope harmonica a couple of cots actually a little stove of some type on here a propane stove that's about it What a beauty. So we are here at the fire tower. It is closed. Locked up pretty tight. So I guess it's one of those things you just walk to it, check it out, and walk back down. Pretty amazing views from up here though. So I'm gonna stop and have me a little snack here. Enjoy a little time with the mountain. And then uh, we'll make our way back down and then we'll start working our way up this ridge and over this ridge and then down. I'm going to start making my way back down that trail and then we'll go up that ridge and drop down the valley for a nice afternoon walk over there. Working our way back around. Uh, there's Frozen Lake, which is clearly not frozen. <laughs> down there in the valley you can still see all the goats hanging out. All those little white spots down there. And going up over on that side you can see our trail. There was a couple of people up on top a minute ago. They must have, oh, there they are. They're all the way over there along the edge. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. You see them right there? Right in the middle. Little specks. That's about to be me here in just a minute. Making progress. There's where we came from, Frozen Lake. You can look out across the valley. There's the fire lookout we were at earlier. 
way out there in uh, the valley. Another path is where the goats are. Uh, a little lake down there, so we can see the Wonderland Trail. And a few others skirting their way through there. Of course, we're still working our way up this Burroughs Mountain. It's a good climb. Not too terribly steep. Trail's not too rocky. And we're looking at that big beauty of the whole way, so pretty nice. Made it. Top of first Burroughs Mountain. See the trail on up ahead. Looks like there's quite a bit. So it appears we're going to intersect with the herd here. Maybe. Got some heading off that direction. There's a large group of them coming across this way. And it looks like we're all going to get to the same place at the same time. So, unfortunately, I went all the way up and back. And my equipment is gone. Somebody stole it. Bummer. They're not quite as big as the ones they have in Colorado, are they? Hey guys, we are down here along the river. Uh, it's about six o'clock in the evening, and Mindy and I are taking a lovely couple's hike this evening. Uh, the girls decided to go ahead and stay at camp. They're going to go to the ranger program around the campfire at uh, seven. But Mindy and I are going to hike this trail over here. It is the Glacier Basin Trail. <laughs> And we hike it for about a mile, and then we're going to jump off of it and head out on the Emmons Overlook Trail, I believe it is. Supposedly we can walk out there and we can actually touch a glacier or get real close to a glacier. Should be an excellent evening for hiking.
All these Washington parks have been loads of water. Loads of water, loads of moss, loads of greenery. See our bridge out there. We're gonna go across that and then up and over that ridge right there. But in the meantime, check that out. Look at that big beauty glowing in the sunshine. Woo! Beautiful. Love it. So we've hit our intersection here. We're gonna take the detour for the Emmons Moraine Trail, which the first the uh, the first thing we got to do is we got to cross the river and look at how big the river is I don't know Mindy it looks awful scary to me I don't think this one will be a problem this yeah. isn't the river? no are you sure that looks like water? I hear something in the background so no. okay maybe we should keep going? yeah is that it? <laughs> That's a tricky. Wow. There's a pretty sight. Big rainy up there. Woo. Something is roaring out here, isn't it? Oh, here's a nice view of the valley we just hiked up. Ah. What we've opted to do is come up here and take the standard trail a half mile up here to the glacier overlook because I think it's going to give us a super awesome view of the sun setting back there off of uh, Big Rainy. And he just got up here. Check out this view back here, babe. Yep. Fantastic. You can see little clouds floating out of the edges of the mountains out there. Rays of sun beaming through there. Watching the snow blow off of there. It is very windy up high today. I can I can testify. <laughs> Look at the way the lights shimmering. Wow. Shit. 
Sam. That's the that's the shot right there. Sunset collection would have definitely been incomplete without this one. I didn't even know it. That's what I love about traveling to these places and seeing all these new things. I'm finding a gazillion things that I'm going to miss that I didn't even know existed before I saw them. This is. Well, we're going to watch the last few rays through the uh, mountain pass there. And then we're going to don our headlamps and make our way back down that trail. This will probably be it for uh, our travels here at Mount Rainier. And we will catch you on the next one.